Welcome to Leading the Way, a video series about addressing challenges in biomarker testing. Today, you will hear important insights about biomarker testing standardization in advanced ovarian cancer from Dr. Michelle Schiller, a molecular pathologist at a major academic institution. Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Schiller, and I would like to share some helpful tips on how you can standardize biomarker testing. I have spearheaded improvements in several biomarker testing processes within my healthcare system. I did this because while attending tumor boards, I realized that we often did not know which patients had been tested. Testing is a vital part of care, and without this information, we would not be able to make the most informed decisions for our patients. We wanted to ensure that everyone received the same high standard of care. So it became clear to me that we needed a better approach. Today, I would like to share my experiences with you. In this series, I share strategies that my team and I use to standardize testing for homologous recombination deficiency, also referred to as HRD, in patients with advanced ovarian cancer. First, let's discuss how building relationships and providing educational support to the clinical team was critical to our success. One major issue was that our clinical team was overwhelmed with the amount of information they needed to learn about biomarker testing. Our team was focused on their patients, and they did not have time to keep up with the latest developments in testing. In the era of biomarker-driven therapy, biomarker status is extremely important for making informed treatment decisions. There was a need for someone to step in to provide leadership and educational support to the clinical team in order to continue to provide the best care possible for our patients. To lead this charge, I needed to develop strong relationships with the clinical team. So, I attended as many tumor board meetings as I could, and I took the time to really listen to my colleagues. By listening to the struggles they were working to overcome, I began to understand the needs of the multidisciplinary team. I also became more aware of the fact that I had information that could potentially help. Next, I began to speak up and share pertinent information based on my expertise in molecular pathology. I also let them know that I would be available to answer any of their questions, and when they called, I answered. If I didn't have the answer at that moment, I let them know that I would research the question and get back to them. These collaborations with my colleagues helped me understand their perspectives and allowed me to show them that I could be a valuable resource. This put me in the position to become a biomarker testing champion. What does that mean? It means being willing to stay up to date on the latest research, guideline recommendations, U.S. Food and Drug Administration approvals, and commercial laboratory capabilities. It means I believe testing empowers providers and patients to make informed decisions. As a result, I shared this information with my colleagues through many educational efforts, which included training, formal presentations, distributing articles, and proactive follow-up with department leaders. We had many discussions about how to move forward, and in order to adapt to the continually changing landscape, I follow up with the team regularly. When thinking about this role, you do not have to be someone with extensive training in molecular pathology. Any member of the team who is motivated and available to fill this role can take it on. I was able to earn my colleagues' trust because I took the time to understand their needs and challenges with respect to testing. This allowed me to strengthen our relationship so that I could drive change as a testing champion. Our multidisciplinary team was overwhelmed by the fast pace of the developments in biomarker testing. As such, I provided educational support that helped relieve the burden of keeping up with testing. To hear more about approaches to testing standardization, please click the link below.